Hello, welcome back. I uh, did some spells. We cast Leprosy on that fort. Disease 22 units? I mean, I guess it's something, right? Uh, Die Portent, Kalem has cast uh, Wrath of God, unfortunately. So <laughs> there's two Dominion effects now we have to contend with. Fortunately, we do have a lot of hit points on most of our commanders. Uh, I suppose it'd be a bit annoying if Strange Energy gets hit by something and a ring of returning triggers, but oh well. Uh, caught some slaves, battling Mudward, which was just a Kalian scout, so you can see the army sitting there. Uh, took Snowford back. Yeah, a powerful Astral Mage has been attacking our mages mentally from a great distance. So this is Strands of Arcane Power. But um, yeah, we don't have any Astral Mages, so there's no uh, magic duel. So we just get hit by Mind Burn, and I don't think many of our mages will get really very bothered by Mind Burn, so it's not too bad. Uh, and Lightning now as well from Wrath of God. 18 units wounded, uh, one was killed. Not too bad. We are currently carrying quite a lot of hit points from Gift of Health though, which we will not have next turn, so uh, it might get worse. Hypernia, uh, some Blood Slaves and Gold, that's quite nice. Uh, 25 income in Fomoria, very nice. Upgraded the fortress in Debrithia. And yeah, Mudward is back open again. So this turn is pretty simple. Uh, very similar to a few turns ago. Uh, this red arrow is just a priest. Put a temple down in Alluvia. Uh, doing some weird summons in Mirenia to keep bulking it up so we can attack this one day. It's going to be defended by... Uh, well, Father Illerth is here. Mostly wolves and mechanical men. So we're now bulking up our army with uh, Kilomantises and Pale Riders, in addition to the Morricans. Uh, but the big stuff is happening over here where we're just going to Storm Castle again. Uh, I did realize, since we're trying to hit this army with rituals, uh, my god can cast Leprosy again, why not? Uh, we also have the Water 5 Mage we prepared a while ago. <laughs> and a ton of Water Gems, so we can cast Murdering Winter as well. Uh, this province does have cold scales, only cold one though. But I mean, getting hit by, you know, murdering winter and another round of leprosy, that might do something, right? Especially if he tries to move this to have a break siege battle this turn. I guess we'll see. Um, the guys who sailed over to Snowford are going to head over to Mudward as well, just to be there during the... Outside of the fort, outside of the fort portion of the turn, so they're just heading over, and uh, yeah, the rest of the guys are just storming castle. So script is, I mean, basically the same. The guys are on hold and attack flyers just to protect our commanders for a bit. There's a bunch of flying units trying to attack rear or something, but Morrigan's attack immediately. Uh, besides that, yeah, it's just set up the same. We've got a lot of spells that target undead. So a bunch of you guys trying to do maggots. It's not a very long range spell. Most of these spells are not super long range, so Dust to Dust is 30 range, Control the Dead is 25. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that the only undead unit in the battle is that super thug, <laughs> so we're just focused on casting spells to hit that thing. Uh, everyone else is just doing, you know, big buffs like Life After Death, Mass Flight, uh, Divine Blessing, uh, Fog Warriors, Wind Guide, yeah. And we'll see how it goes, I suppose. Uh, I don't have high hopes, especially since Kellum can, you know, fly a bunch of stuff over now quite easily. We don't have a, a great deal of force here, but you know, what we do have is pretty high quality, right? Lots of sacreds, lots of big mages. We've got a bunch of imp contracts, I don't know. The difficulty is just that a thug even if uh, a battle against an army goes well, right? Well, we'll see what happens anyway. Besides that, only thing of note is, yeah, there's the Murdering Winter. Uh, forging a lifelong protection again, since we've got enough blood slaves to do that. Yep. So there we go. Uh, we'll storm the fort, see what happens. Best case, best case scenario, we're sitting in this throne next turn with most of our army intact. Uh, worst case scenario, we just get repelled easily. 
Uh, and at that point, we probably just immediately give up on trying to take this turn. We just uh, <laughs> we focus on taking this and then probably just turtle until Cataclysm. Unless we can try and get this as well. And I hope that Kaelin doesn't win the game. So that's the plan. And that was turn 68. So <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. I uh, did lots of summons as usual. Uh, we cast Leprosy, disease 21 units and cast Murdering Winter, and killed seven units. Probably not the most effective use of 50 water gems, but hey, you know, we tried, right? A uh, couple of battles we saw then, but the big one, of course, is the battle in Mudwood. So just check this out. Uh, yep, so Perpetual Storm is down. So perhaps, as expected, a bunch of stuff flew here and had a break siege fight. So there is a ton of mages here, unfortunately. Uh, lots of these guys. Got some Eagle Kings. Uh, we got some Spirehorn Seraphs. Lots of Spirehorn Seraphs. Some Aya Seraphines. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff here. More Eagle Kings. Uh, we got the Sea King who has a Staff of Storms who puts up Perpetual Storms, so... He could fly things here, but nothing flies in the battle, unfortunately. Uh, lots of sacreds. These guys have storm flying as well. Uh, so unfortunately, it's quite a lot of stuff, uh, as well as dust thug, of course. Uh, he's been upgraded, it looks like. Yeah, he's now got magic resistance. <laughs> oh well. Uh, enormous strength, nice. Kind of wasted with a whip then, right? I guess it gives him shock uh, res. Yeah, anyway, so, uh, I'll just hit play. So there's a big communion over here as well. Uh, we do our, block, our buffs. Mass Flight is of course useless now, unfortunately. Uh, all these dudes are blessed, so his bless is Precision Defense Blood Surge. That's why Dust Thug had that extra point of reinvigoration, huh? Uh, fire Shield and Luck. Yeah. Also lots of air alleys, of course. A few gifts from heaven. Uh, lots of pillars of fire as well. So we deal with the air alleys fine. Pillars of fire are a bit annoying, but I mean we have quite a lot of hit points in regen. Uh, these guys, once they're buffed up, though, are pretty hard to deal with, especially ones at the back. These guys currently have 22 protection with regen and ore. <laughs> Full resists. Well, except fire, I suppose. Lucky, fire shield, mist form. Yeah, we don't have many big battlefield buffs in this battle besides stuff that isn't really relevant. We don't have, like, um, our own mass regen or... Army of Gold would be really useful here, of course. Yeah, really struggling at the back here. A lot of our units were on attack flyers, and I guess they prioritized these guys at the back, who went for the corpse constructs at least, but struggling to hit them. 16 defense, 22 protection, all and stuff. Uh, our attack isn't great with the bronze spear either on these guys. More sacreds in the front, different type. Uh, we've got our... <laughs> I also built the pyramids. Trying to do something. How's your uh, fatigue? Not too bad, 64. Uh, dust thug down here doesn't have to do anything yet. kellum has got more battlefield enchantments going up as well. So, foul vapors and relief. Which we also don't have relief, unfortunately. Another useful one. Building up lots of imps, though, for all the good that's going to do. These guys are still not dying. Our regen is keeping us upright a little bit, but not... Not perhaps as much as we need it to at the moment. Hmm. 
And these guys are still a problem. <laughs> Surrounded by uh, stuff you can't live train, unfortunately. That's a shame. Uh, another spell has gone up. Ravenous Swarm. Interesting. Guess that's to hit my Morrigan. How's Dust Thug doing? You just hanging out? <laughs> what are, um, I forgot the key to uh, check the log, see what he's doing. Oh, I guess he's just walking forwards. Are you very slow? Oh, combat speed too. Yeah, I guess you've. Um... Actually, why is your combat speed so low? Cold armor endurance. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I guess because he's a he's a hot skeleton, he doesn't like cold. Lots of imps. The imps seem to be fleeing though. <laughs> I guess they don't like the banishers. All right, looks like we're still upright. Kind of collapsed a bit. <laughs> Just a few big guys left. Are you still in the fight? No, you've uh, <laughs> I've also built the pyramids and they're routing too. Yeah, a bit of morale failure. Don't think we killed any of these guys. I guess we need uh, weapons of sharpness as well, or magic weapon blasts for these guys. Just can't really hit these things. I'll speed this up a bit. It's not going very well. Okay, I think the Ravenous Swarm is attacking <laughs> Dust like now, which is pretty funny. That's what it looks like anyway. Maybe that's some other spell effect, I don't know. What is that spell effect actually? Maybe that's maggots being cast? Or uh, I'm not sure. It's just covered in something. I wish I could remember what key it is to check the log. Been playing a bunch of other games lately, so all my muscle memory for gaming is <laughs> all screwed up. Hmm. Uh, it says Mudwood, not very good. But yeah, that's, that's way more mages than we have. He's got 18 of these things. They're all buffed in a storm. All throwing out orb lightnings. Sea King, Nyad, Six Eagle Kings, The Dust Priest, Crystal Mages, Seraphine, Seraphs. Ahu of the Kavi. Cool. Um, yeah, we killed four Divas, four Melia Warriors, a Sea Troll, and a Yazad. Yeah, he had a lot of units as well. And uh, yeah, we didn't do very well. Lost a Druid, three Kings, and a Sork. And a Woodhenge Druid, but that's a Mercenary. <laughs> uh, what did we lose importantly? Half of the Unmarked, 11 Nemedian Warriors, all of the Morrigans, uh, 20 Giants, and four Warriors. So, not very good. But we didn't have like an awful lot of stuff over here. We were just trying to cobble something together to try and snag this throne. And I think maybe Perpetual Storm going down <laughs> screwed us more than when it went up. It would have been nice if he couldn't fly as much stuff over here, probably. Uh, but there we go. We also saw, let's see, some Helheim stuff attacking. Kalem, and some Vanheim stuff still attacking. Oh, it's the boat, okay. <laughs> oh no, it killed these things. Uh, that's kind of sad. Let's see what happened there. So what have we got? We have a Spectral Mage with a Shroud of the Battle Saint. Um, I guess you guys have a Blood Bond Bless? Yeah. Uh, Evanyol. Not many items on these guys, at least, just the shrouds on these two. Got some Solus, some Aerolies. Uh. Uh, 
Well, that's a shame. <laughs> this guy just got obliterated. Uh, JV, the boat is too strong. <laughs> the boat is crushing everyone. Um, so that was uh, Black Forest. Killed all of the Buccaneers, at least. I think they just replenish, though, unless you kill the big guy, right? The Admiral himself, Admiral Torgren. Uh, yeah. And Icton, yeah. More boats. Uh, Promise Land with nine fire gems. And that seems to be it for messages. Okay. So, probably just going to cut and run here. Uh, we were trying to snag this easily. It's not easy anymore. I'd have to march some of the high quality stuff from here and have a real engagement, which is, I mean, probably better to just try and grab this and then this, I think. Uh, let's see how that goes instead. Worth pointing out as well, we are also quite close to getting up tarts as well. So that'll be fun. I can just start putting together some gear for them and make a tart every turn. Hopefully Gift of Health just heals it. We're on 8 Dominion on our cap. It's kind of low actually. What's Is that our Dominion Strength? Dominion Strength 8, yeah. Let's try and bump that up. We are going to get Temple down in Alluvia this month. Uh, only other important stuff is just fleeing. So some stuff retreated to Dubros. It's heading underwater. Uh, some stuff retreated to Old Flood. It's heading around to pick up the other units. There's a few units in Lake Vastness that need picking up. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll flee. We'll put some stuff back in, in Asia. The rest of the stuff probably just heads down south. And over the next few turns, we'll set up Tartarians and probably attack this finally. And how long is it now until Cataclysm? Turn 81. It's only turn 69, I think? Yeah. So we still have plenty of time to do things, make moves. Meanwhile, the thrones that we have are very, you know, fairly well defended. A lot of it is junk stuff, but at least it looks big on the map, right? <laughs> I need to put some of the high-quality stuff back in this one, because it's very precarious. Especially if we start um, hitting Van. But yeah, we've got um, two guys doing Corpse Men and one doing Morrigans here. Uh, we've got two guys doing Corpse Men and one doing Morrigans here. I'm also having these guys do some Voice of Apsu for a bit, why not? Find some more water sites. Uh, guy here is doing Gnome Law too, find some Earth sites. Two guys here doing Corpse Man, one doing Morrigans. We've got the, uh, what are you called again? Draconian summoning allies. Uh, and down here we've got all kinds of stuff. We've got Barathrus summoning Earth Ellies. We've got Baylor doing Pale Riders, two guys doing Morrigans. Uh, summoning another King of Elemental Earth, see if they're still available. There's only one left. The blood one is here, of course. Uh, summoning more <laughs> Killer Mantises. Uh, in the balance mob we're running as well, as you point out, these are the original mantises that have magic claws, so they're a bit more relevant. Uh, I think that's it for important stuff at the moment. Yeah, Gnome Lore, <laughs> building a temple, uh, summoning morrigans and stuff, and running away. So Tarts and attacking Van will be the next thing on the agenda. I'm just going to ignore Calum now. I assume he's going to ignore me. But you never know. Anyway, that was turn 69, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.